Thank you so much for staying tuned to this frequency. Welcome to yet another edition of International Forum. Since our apologies are coming slightly behind schedule, the location by some, uh, you know, us trying to get one or two things together to give you a near perfect show. This is an apologize, all right? Uh, today is only about the diplomatic row between the U.S. and Russia. They are at each other's throat again. Of recent, Russia sacked U.S. diplomat. Property is not released, just to leave Russia. It came to the fore when Russia and China choose to join effort to tackle U.S. presence in their region. Talk about Asia, talk about Europe. They've warned the U.S. not to interfere whatever they are doing. And there's this speculation that Russia will be invading Ukraine very soon. And for that reason, U.S. had to, like, you know, give Ukrainian soldiers good U.S. gadgets sophisticated weapons to repel the Russian troops. There are about hundreds of thousands of Russian troops. Don't forget that Russia and Ukraine used to be one, that is USSR, so that you don't till everything collapsed. And here we are. They are at each other's throat again. US in support of Ukraine because of its position close to Russia. And Russia is accusing US of espionage, or spying on us via Ukraine. Enough is enough. What do you think this will really boils down to? I am Wilson Omasha. With me here in the studio, he is a, a clergyman and, of course, a, a lecturer, political affairs commentator, both local and international politics is well grounded. Join me to welcome Honorable Frank Amigo. Welcome to International Forum. Thank you so much. All right. We're sending orders to come join us in the studio if they can make it fine. But as I say, in broadcasting, the show definitely will go on. This is not the first time U.S. and Russia are at each other's throats. But this time around, it's like Russia threw the first punch. It was like, enough is enough. U.S. diplomats leave Russia right now. Don't take anything. Just leave. like an expulsion. Well, what can you make out of this? Yeah, it's obvious. It's a, it's a tit for tat, as I, as I see it. Mm. I also see it as some aspect like uh, uh, corporate espionage. Mm. So all of this is coming to the fore. That they are asking each other to leave the country has been on for a long time. And as you mentioned, why introduce the program this moment? That the challenge right now is about Ukraine. And the Russian troop has been gathering around the borders of Ukraine. I recall that in 2014, uh, Russia uh, annexed Crimea. Uh, Crimea from yeah. Ukraine. So U.S. is of the view that the presence of the uh, Russian troops there is to create uh, some discomfort by way of invasion. Hmm. But Russia is saying on the contrary that they are not planning at any point in time to invade uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. Mm. So the question now we want to ask and answer at the same time is what is Russia doing there? Mm. Are they homeless to not get to the border of Ukraine to be doing what? So what U.S. is trying to do is to ensure that Ukraine is safe. And U.S. has well accused Russia severally or spying on them. So that's why we have been having uh, in and out challenge. Russia will say, this number of diplomats leave our country. Mm. US will go back to their own country. So the number of Russian uh, diplomats leave. Mm. Like recently, that about some days ago, uh, US is asking that by the middle of next year, 2022, about 55 uh, Russian uh, diplomatic officials should leave. And a lot of consulates are being closed down. Right now, I don't know, the war between two of them, whether it's cold or warm or whatever uh, temperature, uh, now they have three consulates in each country. In each country. So Russia has three in U.S. U.S. has three in, in Russia. But I think that the Cold War between U.S. and, and Russia is this has been uh, a long time uh, war so to speak and uh, it is is a bloody war that there's no blood mm. if they are spying on each other's military uh, tactics weaponry so many things and is 
an advantage, as far as I know, that China will be very happy hmm. to say, okay, U.S. has been dominating the, 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 sea. the, the sea. So hmm. let's look for other ways to come in. But little did China know that even Germany and some other countries, they are behind the U.S. Hmm. That you allow Ukraine to be they were formerly with the USS Arrow, and now they don't see the need to be there again. So whatever thing that will lead to the instability of peace and progress in Ukraine, that's what uh, Russia is championing. And US is saying, like the, that the big brother, that let them be. So over the time, this Cold War has refused to cease. So a lot of innocent persons are suffering it. So what we expect of Russia now, as this matter is concerned, Russian troops should leave the borders of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. If you don't mean any invasion, then why are you doing that? But the Russia is down their part. On the part of, yes, on the, part, the Russian part. Though they're close to the border, they're yes. not invading right now. From what they are saying, the military, they are just there stationed and massing in numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, what is the interest of the U.S. in Ukraine for crying out loud? A lot of interest. Mm -hmm. No, uh, as far as the UN is concerned, the U.S. plays a, a major part of the activities that, that take place in the U.N. So it's worrisome, even for us here in Nigeria, it's worrisome when, when, when you see situations su such as uh, a country, let's say, uh, having a border with Nigeria, there the are military uh, officers or men are gathering, gathering around the border towns and villages and all mm. that. Even as you said now, they are on their own side Sorry. of the country. Yeah. But it, it will create some bit of fear. Why are you gathering around the border towns? Mm. It's not like the, you have a neighbor and there's a fence between two of you. And each time your neighbor stands by the fence and be looking into your compound. Mm. At least you have the right to say, ah, uh, is, there, is there any challenge? But if he told you that I'm within my own perimeter and I have no business with you, but each time he stands by his own fence, mm -hmm. looking into your own territory or compound, you want to find out what actually the problem is. And if he is not taking the police, will be invited into it. That mm -hmm. every time my neighbor peeps into my compound. So that's what U.S. is doing. Trying to foster possible invasion. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not having that thing in mind, to create more challenges for Ukraine. You have no business at that border at any given point in time. If you, uh, Russia is afraid that U.S. will uh, attack them, will U.S. attack them through Ukraine? Is that the reason why they are gathering around their borders? So I don't want to believe that Thank you so much for staying tuned to this frequency. Welcome to yet another edition of International Forum. Since our apologies are coming slightly behind schedule, the location by some, uh, you know, us trying to get one or two things together to give you a near perfect show. This is an apologize, all right? Uh, today is only about the diplomatic row between the US and Russia. They are each other's throat again. Of recent, Russia sacked US diplomat. Property is not released, just to leave Russia. It came to the fore when Russia and China choose to join effort to tackle U.S. presence in their region. Talk about Asia, talk about Europe. They've warned the U.S. not to interfere whatever they are doing. And there's this speculation that Russia will be invading Ukraine very soon. And for that reason, U.S. had to, like, you know, give Ukrainian soldiers good U.S. gadgets. Sophisticated weapons to repel the Russian troops. We're talking about hundreds of thousands 
of Russian troops. Don't forget that Russia and Ukraine used to be one, that is the USSR, the Soviet Union, until everything collapsed. And here we are, they at each other's throat again. The US in support of Ukraine because of its position close to Russia, and Russia is accusing the US of espionage or spying on us via Ukraine. Enough is enough. What do you think this will really does down? It's a major outbreak of war or whatever challenge that you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, uh, Russia wants to create for Ukraine. Ukraine. So I'm on the side of U.S. in this instance hmm. that Ukraine should be protected. Russia keep away from the border. All right. Now, you said Russia should keep away from the border, but they are still there. According to them, they are not disturbing Ukraine. And right now, another blow dealt on the U.S. also them to exit their diplomats. I mean, uh, and China, on one hand, also is like supporting Russia in this, uh, how will I put it now, in this realm. But Kremlin has been sacked. Where would Russia go all out? to sack Ukraine as a country because they said Crimea is their interest. So why the panic? Because people have said they want to like, you know, invade Ukraine. They've gotten what they wanted. They think they are just raising an alarm where there is nothing to be worried about. Alarm is a possibility there because mm. Ukraine has a large deposit of uranium. For them, you don't have to seed out uh, Crimea. They felt by doing that, they would have been to have uh, enough of whatever mineral resources they would need. Yeah. Little did they know that so much of it still resident or uh, deposited in Ukraine. Now they are going near it. Of course, they are, uh, Russia is a superpower, like US and other countries. So they want to ensure that all that they would need from Ukraine will be gotten out. That's, what, that's the truth. That's why they are still staying there. That's why they are still spying on US. They come in the guise of diplomats. They are not. They are uh, service agents. You're talking about spying, but Russia caught some US spies also spying on Russia. Both sides. It didn't go started by, by, by Russia. Russia started it. So US in an attempt to find out why they are accusing US of starting it. Both of them are accusing each other. But from what I have read, Russia started the spying. They started it and in 2016, US are, uh, sort of evicted some Russians from, from US. That a lot of things they were doing they, in the guise of the they are diplomats, not only they are security agents. They caught them severally. So I'm sure that was why US also went there to spy on them. So both of them have caught each other spying. And both of them at the same time have been involved in sending diplomats away back to their own uh, Country, uh, countries. Yes. So uh, I'm sure that there's something that we are, we are not so much aware of now. But what's clear to me as an individual is about Ukraine. Hmm. U.S. has a lot of uh, interest in Ukraine. And as you mentioned, the relationship between China and Russia, that same relationship uh, the U.K. or uh, uh, Great Britain has with U.S. Of hmm. course, Canada will follow. Germany is on the side of U.S. So hmm. what I feel is the deposit of, of uranium, uranium in Ukraine hmm. that Russia still wants to have access to. Up to now, Putin is not happy that Ukraine is not part of the original uh, Russia or USSR. Mm. So that's where the matter is. They still want them to be subservient to them. And Ukraine will not do that. And thank God for the UN. UN has a place of some bits of independence. You are a nation of yourself. You are sovereign. So any form of territorial uh, invasion will be highly resisted. Mm. So each time U.S. speaks, U.S. speaks as if U.N. is speaking. And because uh, uh, Russia and China are on one side, every other country, as we speak now, every other country is on the side of U.S. Mm. U.S. is speaking as if uh, is speaking on behalf of U.N. But in, in this sense, that's what is happening. All right. Now, they talked about sanction. Yes. This is not the first time the U.S. will be sanctioning Russia. They've done it. They've been through it. 
and now they are threatening more sanctions on Russia if they go ahead with the invasion. Do you think this will deter Russia if they really want to invade Ukraine? Considering what Russia wants, mm. there's no amount of sanctions placed on Russia that will make any difference to them. It's just like you have uh, Muska Domestica, mm. Ausfly. Ausfly, yeah. He's inside a vehicle, and because there's a windscreen, the Ausfly want to come out. So each time you drag the Ausfly from there, it comes back to that spot. Mm. So Russia will not be deterred by the threat of, of uh, sanctions. sanctions. Because there's something they want to get from Ukraine. First, they want Ukraine back to them, selfishly because of the large mineral deposit, and in particular, uh, uranium. That they want them back together is on a selfish ground. So US knows it. And from Ukraine also know it that the Russians don't mean well for them. So if they want to, uh, like a gentlemanly agreement, mm -hmm. let's tap into your mineral deposit, you refuse. That is why I think, is in my personal opinion, that you have those troops around mm -hmm. the border towns that they will likely invade. Because if you are going to break into someone's apartment, you must be armed or be ready for a showdown. So Russia is ready for a showdown now. Hmm. So that uh, U.S. is asking them to retreat shows to Russia now that U.S. has an idea of why they are around the borders. So both parts are, are ready, U.S., Russia are ready for a total showdown. And this cold war has been going on now will may even resort to a full-blown war. We're coming to that. Yes. We're to a full-blown war. Before we get to that aspect, you get yourself a situation whereby U.S. slammed Russia sanction. Russia the other also slams U.S. Mm -hmm. with the same sanction. It's like, you know, economic sanction, economic sabotage. You just, let me, with all this put together, do you see Germany entering into this particular issue? If this refuses to abate. Not even that Ukraine is part of the EU. Yes. Mm. Germany will be on the side of US. Mm. Germany will never support Russia. And because Germany will support US, Germany will support Ukraine mm. against uh, Russia. Even if uh, China still continues to support Russia, but the other major world powers will be together against Russia and, and China. China. So mm. I want to appeal, if there's a way to say that, let Ukraine be. No, Russia should leave Ukraine alone because uh, they have agreed to be together at the time and now that agreement was looked into that there was going to anymore be together. Mm. Allow them to be. Leave Ukraine alone. The other things you will need from other parts of the world. If you really need uranium, you can go, go and buy. Mm. There's import export. Go and be a importing uh, uranium into your country or have a relationship with Ukraine and they will sell uranium for you. Mm. But to now, by aggression, try to oppress Ukraine to get what God has given to them naturally mm. becomes a, a major threat to the, to the lives and property of the Ukrainians. So that's what U.S. is trying to prevent. Mm. If there's a war outbreak now, countries around them, UN will be challenged as a result. So the unity that has been existing within the UN communities will be uh, kind of threatened. Mm. So US trying to say, if you don't want any war, don't go near there. Because Ukraine now is not happy. If you came out of your compound, you saw military men around your premises. They'll tell you, no, we are not entering your compound. We are only around. You won't be, you'll be comfortable. So that discomfort that Russia is creating for Ukraine is what U.S. is saying, that remove this discomfort, allow them be. Because if you're going to move from Ukraine to Russia now, those soldiers there will interrogate you, mm. which wasn't the case before now. And very likely, somebody's going to move from Russia a Ukrainian in Russia wants to move back to Ukraine by that boundary, will be, that person will be having a lot of challenges. 
Because Russia now is suspicious of anybody and anything. Mm. Just the same way U.S. is suspicious. So both of them are on that part. Russia wants a situation whereby U.S. should ignore Russia and allow, uh, 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 ignore Ukraine. U.S. leave Ukraine for us. Ukrainians are not complaining. Leave them for us. Brios is saying by U.N. acts or principles and all that, mm. we have the right to intervene in a country that is feeling threatened mm. by any guys. So Russia is not comfortable with the role U.S. is playing. That's why they are going to spy on U.S. Mm. to see if they are in any way going to help uh, Ukraine out. Of course, they are helping Ukraine in yeah. terms of arms and ammunition. They are, Ukraine is ready now for any war or battle that will likely take place. Now, some people are like saying that if this goes unchecked, this may just lead to a third world war. In the sense, on one hand, you have the U.S., you have the U.S., on the other hand, you have the EU and their countries together. You have China, you have Russia with their allies. You just know that if it's not controlled, it can just explode into a, a, a world war. How possible is this? Mm, I'm, I'm not of that opinion mm. that a third world war will break out. Mm. Going by the level of global civilization, yeah. I, I'm, I'm aware that at the time, Putin and uh, former uh, president of US, uh, Donald Trump, mm. at the time uh, met, they discussed. But the outcome of that has not been implemented up to now. Mm. So what the present president of US is doing now is trying to leverage on the former agreement. So I don't see any third war breaking out. Because what, what is happening is a simple procedure. Mm. You are around the borders of Ukraine. And US is asking you, would you want to invade Ukraine? You said no. US is asking you again, what then are you doing there? Mm. That second question has not been answered. You don't want to invade Ukraine. Then what are you doing there? So Russia is on the defensive now because US is asking some uh, salient que questions that uh, Ukraine would need to, uh, sorry, Russia would need to answer. Mm. So as Russia is battling with the answers to present to U.S. or U.N., I don't think in that uh, process there will be a war. There mm. won't be any war. There won't be any war. No, I don't think so. I All right, we so. want to go for a break. When we return, we'll continue with this discussion. When Donald Trump was in power, for you say that he was able to manage Putin. Do you think Biden is not able to manage Putin or Putin is not able to manage Biden? Who is failing to manage who in this regard? We'll be right back after this break. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. If you just joined us, this is International Forum. We are taking a look at Russia-U.S. relation and, of course, the sack of U.S. diplomat from Russia. Leave, don't take anything, just go and are saying this is all about Ukraine. And I have there in the studio, Honorable Frank Amigo. When Donald Trump was in the picture, nothing of this nature came up. That Trump knows how to manage Putin. On the other hand, Putin knows how to manage Trump. <laughs> now, when Trump exited the scene, we have a Biden. Some are saying, these two are playing discordant tunes. They just can't manage each other. Had that Trump was still there in power, this would have happened. What should say on that? Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump is, is, is a no-nonsense man. Hmm. He does little or nothing about diplomacy. He will mean what he says, and he will say what he means. What he means. So uh, Trump will not just tell you a thing that he's not going to do. Recall uh, some years ago, he spoke to one of the African presidents and said a thing. The way he said it was, uh, this life is a dull person. Let me put mm. it in my own language. Mm. That he doesn't care about the way you feel about the thing. Mm. There are some persons that are uh, some diplomatic minded persons. There's a notion that said so. He said about an African president that you're a clueless person. Mm. And he meant it. So, Trump would have told Putin that 
if you don't do what is needful now, it's war, straight. What he is doing now to Biden, you would have tried it, even the dream, before Trump. The next thing you see, there'll be a, an invasion. The U.S. troops will be uh, the border of Ukraine. Ukraine. Mm. You are in Russia, be there, we'll be looking at each other eyeball to eyeball. Mm. So if you don't mean any harm, we'll know. If you met it, we'll also know. But it's not be talking from Washington, D.C., uh, leave uh, that border, leave that border. Trump will never do a thing like that. Mm. Trump was somebody as a president that a kind of, uh, it, it was kind of a racist, so to speak. But he said he's not a racist. No, no, from his actions, mm. if he, whatever he believed in, he will go for it. But I see Biden as more of, a, of, of, of trying to exhibit some bits of diplomacy. Mm. And diplomacy is not needed yet, right now. But Russia is not a place where you need to negotiate with, mm. or a people you negotiate with. So if Biden will adopt the pattern of Trump in this very matter, I'm sure Putin will have a rethink. Mm. Putin is having a field day because he feels uh, he has assessed Biden. Putin as a president before Biden became president. So mm -hmm. in terms of that uh, uh, position as a president, Putin is senior to uh, Biden. Mm -hmm. So Putin has negotiated with, us, with, with Biden's former boss, former president. So I would expect that uh, Joe Biden will go back to those previous resolutions made. I'm mm -hmm. sure he would have done that. Maybe it's the approach to the matter that is a challenge right now. Mm -hmm. Whatever agreement U.S. and Russia had when uh, Trump and Putin were both presidents, I'm thinking that uh, Biden is not using the same force that Trump did use while Trump was a president. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's why Putin is just doing whatever he likes. Mm -hmm. So for things to normalize, to see go by my former prediction that there will be no third world outbreak, is premised on the point that if B Joe Biden will toe the line of Trump in that resolution of conflicts, mm. that's when that peace will be brokered. But the way it's going now, if you are treating this matter with, uh, with, with kid gloves, Putin will have more power to threaten the peaceful coexistence of the Ukrainians. Except, and unless something is done otherwise, Putin will go ahead one day, it will encroach directly into the Ukrainian uh, country, mm -hmm. which at that point will not, will, not, will, not, will not mean well for the peace in that territory and by extension the whole of UN and maybe the whole world. All right, because right now some people are saying that it's because Putin and Trump, they have this on this close on explainable respect for each other. Nobody wants to cross each other's part. But in this instance, is that Putin want to test the resolve of Biden? How true is this hypothesis? Yeah, it's closely. Uh, I want to see it. Uh, maybe there's some level evidence of truth in it, mm. uh, because if an agreement was reached between two parties, Russia and U.S., and the persons that signed both parties, uh, one, one of them is out of it now. In the case of the case of Trump, yeah. And because it was an agreement, whatever Trump signed is still binding on Biden to adopt. Hmm. So if Putin is looking at uh, Biden as not being so forceful as Trump, that would be uh, the challenge of, of Biden himself and by extension, the whole of US. So if he goes with that same spirit that Donald Trump used, I don't think Putin will have this uh, got to do what he's doing now. We want to test Biden whether he will be as forceful or is carrying this, the spirit of Trump in this matter. Mm. The spirit of Trump in this matter is needed. After they have resolved this matter, he could put on his former uh, clothing of Biden. But now he should wear the robe of Trump, of Trump. to mm. be able to counter what Putin is doing. Mm. Putin doesn't care what happens. If you just mention sanctions, as we said in Pigeon English, not today. Hmm. Give us any sanction, we'll overcome it. If you sanction me, I will sanction you. Of course, you have started. If you have vet my people, I will vet your people. Hmm. 
So if Trump were, were to be the president, I don't think such a thing will happen. Mm. I don't think so. All right. But I, don't, will happen. I don't think what Putin is doing now, it would have done that to Russia. All right. Some of the things that they yeah, would have done that to, uh, to Ukraine. To Ukraine. I mean, yeah, would have done that. Would have yeah, done some are saying that U.S. is beginning to bite more than it can chew. On one hand, on China Sea, but then China to stay clear of the sea. We're we'll talking about Taiwan. Yeah, that's on one hand. They say China leave, and China to respond with a strong warning: U.S. leave us alone. Whether we are here in Taiwan or not. Taiwan and China, they are one, and they intend to absorb Taiwan into China. That's on one hand. On the other hand, here they are, warning Russia to stay off Ukraine. Do you think really they are biting more than they can chew in this scenario? I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Because you know, we talk about one facing two strong yes. opposition. There's no These are what powers. There's no attempt by any human being that you will make that you don't need help. Hmm. And help that will come to you unsolicited is more valued than when you begin to beg for help. Hmm. I'm seeing U.S. trying to rescue persons that have been abused in terms of nationhood. That China still wants Taiwan. They shouldn't want Taiwan again. They have seen that from them. Leave hmm. Taiwan alone. Let Taiwan be. The same approach U.S. is still having in favor of Ukraine now. Mm. Ukraine is no longer with Russia. So Russia, leave them alone. So we don't have to wait until uh, Taiwan or Russia or Ukraine, or Ukraine is crumbled before U.S. will now come to the rescue. Of mm. course, at that point, what are we going to rescue? So what I think U.S. is doing is to intervene in some situations whereby some persons or countries are oppressing, in quotes now, the less privileged. Mm -hmm. If uh, Russia feels they are kind of a superpower, let them encroach into the U.S. Or China says, uh, no, we can invade anywhere. Let them invade the uh, U.S. Mm -hmm. So they just look at you as a, a nobody. And they want to do anything they like to such uh, people. U.S. is saying no. We have an agreement as a, U, uh, as a UN. Let's try to maintain them. Because they are not as strong as you are, does not give you the basis to trample upon their rights. Mm -hmm. that, uh, there, there's a right of association. They don't want to associate with you. Mm -hmm. You are looking for one way or the other to oppressively use them to agree to live with you. By UN uh, rules and regulations, that shouldn't be. Taiwan. Uh, Ukraine, they are sovereign nations. Let them be. I'm also adding my voice to that of the US. Mm -hmm. Let them be. Let them Let be. Let them be. So if they want to be part and parcel of you, Taiwan wants to be part and parcel of China, and in the other case, Ukraine mm -hmm. wants to join Russia, then it will be done peacefully. Mm -hmm. Not you uh, intimidating them, embarrassing them, that they will be or something else will happen. So if Ro uh, US had refused to speak concerning what Russia is doing to Ukraine and what China is doing to Taiwan, I would suspect U.S. has not, uh, has, has not uh, what they claim to be. Mm. U.S. has always been there to protect a lot of countries. That's why you have to uh, uh, invade into their territories. So such a thing now, I want to applaud U.S. They are not, they are not biting more, more than they can chew mm. because they, they have the manpower, they have the facilities to protect other weaker nations from being engulfed or swallowed by so-called power, powerful nations. Okay, for quite to wrap on this show, your last line, how do you think all these threats will pan out? What can you predict will happen in this instance? I want to see because of the alliance of China and Russia. Mm. As we say it, you go there, I will go here. China, face Taiwan. Let's see what U.S. will say. Uh, Russia, you handle Ukraine. Let's see what U.S. will say. Everything is pointing to U.S. Mm -hmm. How much of these things can U.S. withstand? They know that if they want to do anything to Ukraine, U.S. will say something. Russia is aware. Mm -hmm. Everything done to Taiwan, Russia, I mean, uh, China is aware that U.S. We'll wants to find, find out what mm -hmm. is happening there. 
So indirectly or directly, the attack is towards US. US. Mm. Because for too long a time to them, US has been the Lord. The Lordship now, let's share it. Mm. And US is not ready for that. Let's share the Lordship. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 so they're share. attacking from two fronts. Yes. From Taiwan and of course mm. Ukraine. Ukraine yes. So how do you think these, do you see an amicable settlement or there's going to be use of force in this regard? Because China is like saying, we are going for Taiwan, whether you like it or not. They are, they are not playing about it. They're not hiding. They made it known to the world that we are going, we are coming for Taiwan. Yes. And Russia is a little bit diplomatic, saying that we are just there in the border. We're not attacking anybody. But you have retinues of soldiers there with personnel armed to the teeth. How do you think all this will finally All these end? things will dwindle in a mm. short while. Mm. Because apart from U.S. trying to... Uh, intervene now. The other nations mm. that will not be in support yeah. of either China or Russia in what they are doing now. So I'm sure the intervention of, our, of other countries will make uh, China and uh, Russia to pipe low. Mm. So I have not foreseen any third world outbreak. Mm. It won't be. Just to do some forms of agitations, or they just back, but they're going to bite. So it's like being in the initial gra gra. Yeah, you know initial gra. They will only back, right. they won't bite. So right. Taiwan will remain, Ukraine will remain. remain. Mm. Let's see how this will pan out because right now it's getting heated up in that region. On one hand, we have Taiwan, on the other hand, we have Ukraine. Russia, according to reports, uh, they are saying Russia wants to invade Ukraine, and of course, uh, China wants to uh, 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 now invade Taiwan. Taiwan. But focus today on uh, the ukraine uh russia invasion yeah the one that led to the sack of u.s diplomats from russia saying get out of russia probably not giving to them just leave let's see how all base will pan out ours is to report back to you thank you so much honorable for coming on today show really appreciate, I appreciate it too. see you next week tuesday god willing bye for now